Today, I'm bringing you another episode that's likely to offend some people. The concept I'm talking about originated with pagan goddess, go, I don't know why I can't say that, goddess worship or pagan goddess mythology. Uh, and I'm talking about the triple goddess, but I'm not using it at all for goddess worship. I just want to use the framework of um, maiden, mother, and I'm using the word mentor. Uh, to address some of the challenges in a woman's life, and also to see if I can give some principles for how to think about creativity in your wardrobe and in your environment in different life seasons. I'm Rebecca Milkey, and I love creating harmony with what already exists. In your aesthetic life, that's you. You are what already exists. As your visual identity consultant, I take you on a journey of self-discovery so you can align your inner self and your outer self, show up confidently, and contribute your gifts to the world. As your first step to self-discovery, I invite you to take my free style personality quiz. You can find the link in the show description or at my website, SignatureStyleSystems.com. Okay. So the triple goddess is a deity archetype from neo-paganism. When the idea for this episode came into my mind, I didn't know that. I had just heard the terms maiden, mother, and crone. And I figured those were stages in the female life cycle. There are also stages in the moon cycle, I think, which is where this um, goddess thing uh, comes in. So uh, the crone is associated with wisdom, and that is not really a word that we use now or really even appreciate. But the, the word mentor, that is an important word that we use now, and I think it fits the stage perfectly for what I'm trying to talk about today, plus alliteration, right? So first I wanna define the life stages a little bit. So the maiden phase, I would define as up to about age 25, 26, 27. Um, there's a point somewhere in that age range uh, when the prefrontal cortex comes online in a new way because of natural brain development. I'm sure you've heard that you know, when people are 18, their brain isn't even finished developing. That's what they're talking about. Now, if you weren't offended by neo-paganism, perhaps I can get you with a reference to the Bible. Uh, in the Old Testament, God instructed the leaders of Israel to read the entire scripture before all the people once every seven years. And I have just always hypothesized that the reason for this is because our brains go through some sort of up level every seven years, similar to what happens at, you know, at that age 27 or whatever, uh, when your um, prefrontal cortex actually completes its development or whatever. But it's been my experience um, that <clears throat> there are other points when I can look back and, and realize I think a lot differently now from how I used to. And it feels like it's not necessarily um, just about lived experience uh, or learned wisdom, but also like it might be something organic. So that's just my opinion on this. Needless to say that is a reasonable time and maybe uh, the maiden phase ends earlier than that. But I think that's a good point to consider. Uh, a good point in life to consider the maiden phase, you know, exiting the maiden phase, going into the next phase, which is called mother. Um, so I'm defining this as from the end of the maiden phase until maybe menopause. Um, and it's being the middle of life kind of stage. It's pretty fluid. Um, and I think it's a stage that we need to go through as women. 
whether we have kids or not. Um, and I hope that isn't offensive, but I guess if I'm offending people anyway in this episode, um, I don't mean to, but I also like, I want to say the things that uh, kind of need to be said or people are afraid to say in some ways. So the thing that came up, I was recently going through a personal development program and um, yeah, that was one of the things that came up, which is that these seasons are necessary uh, whether or not you've had children. Um, and I, it brings to mind an example of a friend of mine. Uh, I had, um, we were friends for a long time and she was a mentor and she passed away recently this year and she never had her own children, but she spent her life looking for people who needed Jesus and then mothering them in a spiritual way. So her feeling was that she didn't have natural children, but she had a lot of spiritual children. Um, so if you don't have children, but you are in this age range, the question you could consider would be, what do you want to give birth to or nurture? I think uh, if we think openly and creatively about this, it could be a lot of things. It could be a business. It could be a movement. It could be a friend group. It could be a way of life. Um, and this, I think, is going to come from within your uniqueness and your own values. Um, so, and then the third phase is the mentor phase. So I often tell my friends that when their last child gets her driver's license, that can be a tough moment for mom. It kind of marks the beginning of the end. And I just want to warn my friends that this feeling is coming and that it could be difficult. So if you are in that season right now, that spot where your uh, youngest child is getting ready to get their driver's license, I really recommend that you get your personality profile. If you give yourself some time now to be intentional about what's next for you, then uh, I hope that that helps you to make that transition with more grace than I did, which more on that coming in a minute. Um, so, and then for some people, this moment might come earlier in life. Uh, I really noticed that when I hit about age 55, I had a lot more wisdom and perspective to share. So I wanted to call this season mentor because we who are in this older age range have a lot to share. And there's this thing in Gen X where probably because we were left to figure out so much on our own, we kind of need to be reminded that other people really do value our input and want to hear what we think. So here's some challenges in each season. When you're in the maiden season, you're really figuring out who you are in this stage of life and making big decisions about your values, your career path, and possibly a primary relationship. Um, it's really, all of this is about identity, um, but this is really where you should be figuring out uh, and taking the time to wrestle with uh, identity issues. Um, so I recommend personality profiling for anyone who is at least 17. So most people have to take a Myers-Briggs assessment at some point during their college experience. And the conversational profile can overcome a lot of common mistypes and things, problems that can happen with a forced choice quiz format. Uh, not only that, there's an explanation opportunity like you when you're having a conversation with me and we're figuring out your personality type, you can uh, say neither or both or explain yourself or whatever. Um, 
And then we, and then I'll explain things and you have an opportunity to verify that, yes, that feels like me, that fits. Um, so you can find the link for that service in the show description. Now, with regard to your wardrobe, the maiden phase is the perfect time to experiment. It's not a time when you need to dig in and dress like all the rest of your friends, um, unless they're experimenting and you guys are all doing it together, which is super fun. Um, but there's no better time for you to figure out what it is that you really like and to give new things a try. Then you come into the mother phase. This can be a season of a lot of pressure and responsibility. And I feel like it's important for you to remember as you seek to meet all the demands on you that you are one of everybody and to consider your own needs at least as much as you consider everyone else. I have known a lot of women throughout the years who made sure that everyone in their family had everything that they could possibly need, but they neglected themselves. We've all been there, right? At least I have. Uh, and I remember multiple times the hero encouraging me to buy something that I really needed and we really had the money for, but for whatever reason, I thought I knew better and we couldn't afford it. So ladies, if your husband is encouraging you to buy something that you need and something that's for your own good, I recommend you submit. In this uh, phase of life, the mother time, is the time for you to start buying things you will want to keep for years and years, a little higher quality. But I also want to recommend that rather than trying to be bland and timeless with your choices, just classic uh, with these higher quality pieces, that might be your style. But if it's not, uh, take the time to figure out what what works best for your body shape and your coloring, this is really the thing that's going to enable you to have, uh, to be able to have pieces in your wardrobe that stand the test of time and, um, and are kind of trend proof. They, if they look good on you, it doesn't matter if they're on trend. Uh, so those are the next steps in the journey of self-discovery that, um, that I have available right after your personality profile. The next thing we do is look at your aesthetic and then go into the technical about your body. And these are the things that are gonna make pieces um, just that you will love to wear for years and years and wear them out. That's a victory. If you wear something out, that's a victory. Okay, so then the third uh, season of a woman's life is the mentor season. And this can actually be a season of potential loneliness after running your kids around and being involved with the kids, friends, families, and parents and all the things. Uh, many women wake up and realize that they don't have the quality of relationships um, and I'm not, I'm not exclusively talking about the primary romantic relationship. It can also be like friend relationships. Um, so they realize that they don't have the quality of relationships that they need uh, for fulfilling life because we all need people. Uh, to be honest, when the hero and I uh, first entered this phase of life, we stuck with volunteering uh, for a couple of extra years with a youth theater organization that our youngest had been uh, active in. And we just, when she aged out, we stuck around for a couple of years just to cushion that dramatic drop off. We had a lot of community there and, um, and we were able to still be helpful. So mentoring is a solution for, uh, or at least a partial solution for that loneliness or potential loneliness. Um, another thing in this stage of life, I just kind of figured out everybody has a hard time. We have a hard time, harder time making friends uh, 
as adults than we did when we were kids. And by the time we get to this stage of life, um, yes, a lot of the people that we went to college with or whatever have um, moved on. And uh, so I just kind of started initiating things and, um, you know, inviting people to go for, I love to go for walking coffee. We get coffee, go for a walk, uh, go to a park or something like that. And uh, so I started initiating those kinds of things. Um, also, if I like am going somewhere, um, say like a regularly scheduled meeting or whatever, if there's somebody that it makes sense for me to carpool with, I'll try to like always, every time I go to book club, I drive with the same person. And that just gives us, you know, a little bit of um, opportunity for relationship there. So the other thing I did is I started showing up wearing color and that made me both more visible and more approachable. Uh, you would be surprised, maybe not. I get a lot of comments about my glasses and it just opens the door for conversation. So with your wardrobe in this season, it's the time to truly show who you are. Um, you don't need to be, uh, you should be at this point past feeling like you need to have other people's um, affirmation about what you're doing and, and feel more comfortable within yourself uh, with your own decisions. And um, when you truly show yourself in your wardrobe, uh, you will attract people who will like the real you. And you also give younger people um, hope that they can have a signature style and they can still be relevant and cool and whatever when they're your age. We really, really do need one another. Um, as I've journeyed through life, one of the great blessings has been friends of different ages. I had lunch this week with two women in their 70s who are also widowed. One of them's been widowed for almost 30 years and the other one was more recent like me. I also have a lot of friends who are in their late 20s and early 30s. So if you are ready to exit the maiden stage of life and start to create a personalized grown-up wardrobe, what my daughters and I like to call a permanent wardrobe, I would love to be your mentor. We start with a conversation to discover your personality type and the wiring of your mind. And you can find the link to book that call in the show description. Thanks for being here for the Signature Style Systems podcast. Have fun being you and I'll meet you back here again real soon.